I'm Senator Bob Huff. This is my capital comment for the week of August 8, 2016. We have many bills left to process, but two very questionable bills continue to move forward in the state legislature, even though there's plenty of opposition to both ideas. The first is a measure that seems to be innocent on the surface, but has upset many community leaders in the API or Asian Pacific Islander community. They held a rally at the state capitol this week to demonstrate their concerns. AB 1726 would require our public institutions to collect specific population information on the Asian Pacific Islander community. What's wrong with this idea? Collecting racial data, like the federal government does with the census every 10 years, can and has been used in the past to hurt Asian Americans. Congress, for example, used census information when passing the Chinese Exclusion Act of 1882, which restricted Chinese immigration to California and the nation for decades. Similar racial information was also used by the U.S. Secret Service to round up Japanese Americans for imprisonment in internment camps following the attack on Pearl Harbor. There are some in the legislature who believe that Proposition 209 should be repealed. You may recall that Prop 209 put a stop to discrimination by requiring our public universities and other institutions to stop discriminating on the basis of race, sex, or ethnicity. Admissions to our institutions of higher learning today are based on merit and hard work. There's a fear among many in the API community, especially among Chinese Americans, that the information gleaned from AB 1726 could be used to divide the API community by pitting one subset against another, no matter how hard they work or the grades that they earn. They prefer to be united, not divided. United, not divided! Another measure that's been drawing plenty of attention and opposition is SB 1146. This bill originally sought to limit the religious exemption that's awarded to educational institutions controlled by a religious organization. It also would have permitted anyone who was denied equal rights or opportunities on the basis of gender identity, gender expression, or sexual orientation to file discrimination lawsuits against these institutions. As a graduate of a private religious institution, Westmont College, I personally found this bill troubling for several reasons. First and foremost, it was very vague. It would have taken years for anyone to develop a clear idea of what it meant. But more importantly, this bill was a direct assault on religious liberty protections and represented another step to eradicate the views and beliefs of those who are uncomfortable with the idea of imposing alternate lifestyles on the California communities, particularly faith-based communities. Fortunately, due to the large public outcry, I received several hundred letters myself, the author of SB 1146 chose to amend the bill this week in hopes of removing the opposition. Specifically, the author has removed the provision that would have allowed students to sue if they felt they had been discriminated against. However, the amendments now require the school to publicly disclose their exempt status from non-discrimination laws, so prospective students are certainly aware of the rules. It would also require colleges to notify the State Student Aid Commission, which oversees Cal grants, each time a student is expelled for violating a school's moral code of conduct. Will a change in this bill be enough to remove all opposition? Who knows? The organizations opposed to this policy change are taking a closer look at the bill now and will most likely announce their position next week. As always, I'd like to hear your thoughts on this, so feel free to drop an email or leave a comment on my Facebook page. I'm Senator Bob Huff. Thanks for watching.